election ballot referendums. Would you support? Uh, would you repeat that question, please? Uh, I, I, I can. You speak have up. to speak up. Yes, sir. I said. It's you a can... hard room because it's very big. If you know. Um, so, said, this I is said, worth eighteen million dollars. I said. I said He's back. Video is brought to you by Angel Studios Adventurous Cartoon Series called Tuttle Twins. Man, these cartoons are off the chain. I freaking love them. I'm sick of all the propaganda that they're pushing to our kids, and Tuttle Twins gives a expanded, elevated, adventurous, clever take on certain um, important topics, and they do it that in a way that's entertaining to your kids. Point is, each of you has a different brain, but the school system treats you like you're all the same. They shouldn't be teaching you what to think, but how to think. The true sign of intelligence is not the knowledge, but imagination. So, we should drop out of school and just imagine all day. Heavens no! The teachers at school can be a great resource for some kids, but stop seeing school as the only possibility for education. You were learning before you sat in a classroom, and you will continue to learn long after school. Just so y'all know, Tuttle Twins have over 150 million views. Taxpayers are forced to pay about $2.5 billion to Hollywood for film subsidies, but thanks to the 8,731 investors, Tuttle Twins was funded with zero tax dollars. The cartoon has won awards. You do not want to miss it. Seasons 1 and 2 are now streaming for free on the Angel app. All you have to do is go to the search, type in Angel Studios app, or you can go to angel.com forward slash Officer Tatum. You'll be able to see those two seasons. If you like and subscribe to the channel, hit the, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all that stuff. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Uh, let, Donald Trump is back. I just want you to know he's back like a Cadillac in two flats, a cat in a hat, smoking crack in the back with Hunter Biden. The Hunter Biden thing didn't, didn't rhyme that much. Anyway... Listen, I love Donald Trump and his element because all it takes for them to defeat Trump is if they never if they leave him alone. If they leave Trump alone, he will vanish into the night. But they can't help themselves but to keep making viral content for us by by trying to say crazy stuff about Donald Trump, by trying to threaten him, by lying on him. Then then the true Trump come out. The Trump that we love. The one that talked more than anything. That's why he won in 2016. Come on, Trump. He back. Wrote a clip. Are you worried at all about the size of Harris's crowds? Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Listen, I had 107,000 people in New Jersey. You didn't report it. I'm so glad you asked. What did she have yesterday? 2,000 people? If I ever had 2,000 people, you'd say my campaign is finished. It's so dishonest, the press, and, and here's a great example. I had in Michigan recently 25,000 people and 25,000 people were just, we just couldn't get them in. We had in Harrisburg 20, 25,000 people and 20,000 people couldn't get in. We had so many, nobody ever mentions that. When she gets 1,500 people, and I saw it yesterday on ABC, which they said, oh, the crowd was so big. I have 10 times, 20 times, 30 times the crowd size. And no, they never say the crowd was big. That's why I'm always saying turn around the cameras. I'm so glad you asked that. I think it's so terrible when you say, well, she has 1,500 people, 1,000 people, and they talk about, oh, the enthusiasm. Let me tell you, we have the enthusiasm. Okay? Mr. President, Mr. President, you have not had a public campaign event for nearly a week now. Tomorrow you'll be in Montana, which is not a swing state. Some of your allies have expressed concern that you're not taking this race seriously, particularly what at a, a time where is. there is enthusiasm on the other side. Why haven't you been campaigning this week? Uh, because I'm leading by a lot and because I'm letting their convention go through. Uh, and I am campaigning a lot. I'm doing tremendous amounts of uh, taping here. We have commercials that are at a level I don't think that anybody's ever done before. Plus, in certain cases, I see many of you in the room where I'm speaking to you on phones, I'm speaking to radio, I'm speaking to television. Uh, television's coming over here. Excuse me, what are we doing right now? She's not doing any news conference. You know why she's not doing it? Because she can't do a news conference. She doesn't know how to do a news conference. She's not smart enough to do a news conference. And I'm sorry, we need smart people. Please. 
Let me just say this. It, it, don't y'all think it's funny that they trying to put that in? Tra- Trump been traveling the campaign I don't know how many times. He got shot and kept campaigning and kept traveling and, and selling out of venues after he got shot. It, I mean, if the man want to slow down a little bit, after he almost was assassinated because the Secret Service can't protect him, dang, we can give him some credit. God dang. Can he say, hey, I'm, t- I'm chilling a little bit till y'all figure out the Secret Service before I get killed out here. Oh, we, your allies are worried that you, you can't. Kamala been to two places. <laughs> this bra went to two places, and she, Donald Trump, I'm not going to. Let me finish this. Mr. President, um, there's been some discussion around Vice President Harris's relationship with Willie Brown, yeah. the former mayor of San Francisco, and how that might have intersected with her career trajectory. So I'm just wondering if you followed that discussion at all and have any thoughts on it. Well, I know Willie Brown very well. In fact, I went down in a helicopter with him. We thought maybe this is the end. We were in a helicopter going to a certain location together, and there was an emergency landing. This was not a pleasant landing, and Willie was, <laughs> he was a little concerned. So I know, him, I know him pretty well. I mean, I haven't seen him in years. Uh, but he told me terrible things about her. But this is what you're telling me anyway, I guess. But he, he had a big part in what happened with Kamala. But he, he I don't know, maybe he's changed his tune, but he, uh, he was not a fan of hers very much at that point. If you don't know who Willie Brown is, he was smashing and dashing with Kamala Harris, and he admitted that his affair with Kamala Harris got, gave her benefits and helped her go up in the rank that she was in, or, or at least get a promotion. He said the sexual relationship he had with her benefited Kamala Harris's career. Now, if Donald Trump would have done something like that, they call him all kind of nasty dogs, and he, she, she could lay on her back and, and hike it up, and we're supposed to not talk about it. No, she was she was a floozy. At least what people are saying. I don't know. I didn't know Kamala Harris. I, she wasn't my type. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even talk to Kamala Harris if I saw her in college. I wouldn't talk to her. But she'd probably be running after the football players. Anyway, only reason I'm saying it because y'all can go after this man's past and his sexual behaviors and divorces and stuff, and then Kamala out there with her knees dirty, and, and y'all and we act like we can't talk about because she a woman. Get the shut the front door. Would you, uh, would you repeat that question, please? Uh, I, I, I can speak you up. have to speak up. Yes, sir. I said it's you a can. hard room because it's very big, if you know. Uh, so, said, this I is said, worth $18 million. Is that what I said? I said you- an AR-15 gun at all changed your impression of people's access to that weapon? No, I didn't. Uh, look, if you take away guns, she wants to take away everyone's gun. If you take away guns, you can't do it because people need the guns for protection. Now, entertainment they wanted, hunting they would, you know, different things. But they need weapons for protection in this country. People live out in the woods and they're not going to have a gun. If you look at a, some some countries, I don't want to go, I don't want to get them in trouble, but some countries have actually gone the opposite way. They had very strong gun laws and now they have gone the opposite way where they allowed people to have guns, where in one case they encouraged people to go out and get guns and crime is down 29%. Israel. And remember this, what is the toughest gun law in the United States? Chicago. On July 4th, 117 people were shot and 17 died. The toughest gun laws in the United States are in the city of Chicago. You know that. And look at where they're at. Now, Donald Trump had a, a longer presentation of this, and we just compiled like some of the highlights. We'll put a link somewhere where we can go watch the whole thing, but... Uh, you know, trying to ban guns and all this stuff, man, it's easily defeatable if Donald Trump can get into a debate and be substantive against Kamala Harris because, you know, she say universal background checks. That The, the, the guy that tried to shoot Trump, he would have passed the background check. Um, there's a whole bunch of other people that would have passed the background check. The kid in Uvalde would have passed the background check. The guy on, in Las Vegas that shot all those people at the, at the uh, Jason Aldean concert – he would have passed the background check. I mean, you can go down the list. People get nutty off record. They can go and buy a gun. So it's not going to the, – the, the universal background – you already have to go – when you go buy a gun, if you don't have a CCW, you already have to do a federal background check. I've done plenty of them. 
Because I never had a CCW, never needed one. And in the state of Arizona, you can open carry. You don't need a permit. And you got to do a background check. If you're a felon, you know what felons do? They don't go buy the gun at the store. They go buy a stolen gun. You know how those shootings in Chicago with those strict gun laws? How do they get so many shootings? Stolen guns. You know what? Murder is against the law. Drive-by shooting is against the law. Fire, discharging a firearm in the city limits more than likely is against the law. They don't give up. How many times we got to say that? They don't give a F. You know, when you go, we're going to implement gun laws. Turn your guns in. People that don't want to go to jail will turn their guns in. The people that don't, don't give up about life or death, they ain't turn no guns in. If you want to do a drive by the night, he going to say, you think the dude in the, in, the, in, the, in the ride with his homies, they ride down the street bumping, boom, boom, we're going to ride on these fools. Let's go, let's go pull up on op over there. You think they driving and they, the news come on. Dun, 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 dun. That's, it, that's a sports center. But anyway, the news come on. The government has banned firearms. Dang, bro, we were finna run up on homeboy now. Now we gotta put our guns away. Matter of fact, bro, do the U-turn. Let's go by the police station and turn our guns in. Stolen guns in. Convicted felons, prohibited possessors gonna go turn their gun in at the, at the, at the uh, police station. Here's another thing about the gun thing. You know how much money I pay for all them rifles I got? You know how much money I pay for the optics? Rifles, ammo, magazines, you name it. You know how much money I pay for them? And, and the government going to come get them and pay me what money? You going to pay me what I pay for these guns? Ain't no way in the world. They took my gun buyback. You got a $50 gift card. Man, you got your mother mind. The bag don't cost fifty. Cost more than $50. What are y'all talking about? Ammo. Like, I, I can't believe people are stupid enough to vote for these people. I can't believe it. I'm hoping they wake up. I got to, I, I, I can do a whole hour on this. Anyway, I'll see y'all on the next one. Comment in the comment section. I'm out.